What if I tell you that you can achieve success in the biotech and pharma industry at rocket speed? Is it doable? Is it possible? The answer is yes. The seven or eight tips which I'm going to share in this video is going to make that happen. So let's jump in, make notes and use whatever I say in this video as an actionable insight. Activate your senses. Execute, 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 whatever I'm going to say, because then you can skyrocket your career to the highest success which biotech and life science industry has to offer, right? And that can be eight figure or 10 figure USD salaries, right? Okay, so to start with, what's the first and most important thing? The entire biotechnica is built on that thing, you know, and that is stay informed and stay ahead. When we started Biotechnica, we realized that you are not getting job not because you are not qualified enough, but the truth is nobody knows where the job is, right? And that's where we created Biotechnica and you know how fast it is, right? So subscribe to Biotechnica for updates and follow the latest trends of the industry. Understand what's happening and then implement it in your CV, in your career. Magic will happen. But easier said than done, there's a lot to be said now. When I say this, that you have to stay updated, it is like how much more information I need, right? So there will be usable information and there is will be, there will be unusable information which may, you may need in the future. You can always bookmark it and forget about it. But whatever is usable information, for example, there is a vacancy which may expire in the next seven days, all of that Biotechnica is providing. So a newsletter subscription, if you take, and that is free of cost, you can be informed about anything and everything in this life science and biotech world globally. And that is the best part. So that's the point number one. The point number two, which I have for you is expanding your network. Now you look at this, any and every project which I'm getting today in Biotechnica is because of social media. My social media outreach is so much that someone will definitely reach out to me and say that, hey, I think you can do this and I'm gonna pay you for that, right? And Boom. So you have to expand your network. You have to be more active on professional social media. And that is LinkedIn, right? Apart from LinkedIn, you can go to offline events, meetups, make valuable connections and nurture those connections. Reach out to them. They will reward you with opportunities. The third and most important thing here will be developing diverse skill set. I'm not saying only one directional. Unidirectional skill set takes you in one particular department. For example, I know medical coding, so I can only go into medical coding department, right? But what if I know molecular biology skills also? I know bioinformatics skills also. I know AI, ML and whatnot, right? So here is a list of things you should be knowing as a, you know, biotechnologist or life scientist. The first will be a strong and solid foundation in biology and chemistry, that is scientific expertise. The second will be technical expertise, such as proficiency in laboratory techniques data analysis, computer programming, and that will give you a competitive edge, right? And if you remember that biotech world, actually, it's no longer about just knowing how to pipette it out, right? Instead, it is going to the level of scripting a Python program, and then you go using molecular docking and stuff like that. So technical proficiency is a must. Then obviously, you have to learn to collaborate. So collaboration skills has to be there. Followed by that, you have to adapt to the situation. See, the other day I was uh, in a video shoot with um, Biotech Lab in Bangalore Bioinnovation Center. So they were testing on bed bugs and the bed bugs are bed bugs, they're insects. They will not behave the way you want, right? So they were shooting this video in broad light and there was so much of studio light, the bed bugs got repelled and they did not act the way they were supposed to, right? So our scientists adapted, our cameraman adapted, and we shot it in such a way that the direct light was not falling on the bed bugs and we could shoot it, right? So what happened here? We adapted, right? So adaptability is very much important. Now, next thing is having an entrepreneurial and intrapreneurial skill. The ability to work under someone and constantly deliver results and the ability to do something without any guidance. These two things are very much needed if you want to skyrocket your career. And these are the diverse skill set which I was talking about. Next, we'll move on to the next point, which is making sure that we are relevant to the industry, right? So I studied 15 years ago, right? 
my time bioinformatics was like a small chapter today it's a big science so i have to stay relevant to survive in the industry to bring in more bread and butter to my family and of course earn more so that is where staying relevant is important followed by that is guidance and mentorship so i'll give you example let's say that you are stuck in your career and you need some kind of help right so whom would you reach out you can reach out to your mentor you'll be like hey the mentor told me the same things which i already knew you know you don't go to mentor to learn new things you go to mentor so that he can point out where you are missing out on your innate inherent abilities which you can use to grow right and i personally counsel and uh, guide a lot of students we do have a career guidance uh, you know system at biotechnica you can always write to me at shekhar@biotechnica.org if you want career guidance from me or our experts so that's something you can do to develop a skyrocketing career followed by that will be proactive approach you know this is something which my father taught me and it is like you have to act before the accident happens be proactive right so you have to seek new projects be before the current project ends or before even before uh, you uh, are bored or you should just keep looking for newer things right so take the initiative find and contribute to newer projects learn new things and then offer expertise right demonstrate the value by offering expertise to others within your organization so this way you can learn better followed by that you have to remember that it's not always about the growth even if you are growing fast and you got very busy with your work and if you are not fit if you are not able to maintain the work life balance then even though your career is moving at rocket speed it will meet with an accident because your body is no longer supporting your brain right so balancing your career and having a well being is very very important so these were the pointers which i wanted to highlight for your success in the biotech and life sciences career i hope you found it valuable if i missed some points which you would like to add let us let us know in the comment section or if you have any questions or queries you can always reach out to me at shekhar@biotechnica.org it was fun interacting with all of you and remember Biotechnica is the place where you can get all the information and opportunities in the life science sector. So all you have to do is subscribe to our free newsletter. The link is given in the description. Thank you so much. Take care. Keep shining. Bye bye.